Okay, good morning, hopesters. It is Monday morning. Hudson has a Botox appointment today, so Alicia's got her completely ready for school, and then Alicia's rolling out, and Hudson and I are rolling out. Mondays, usually Alicia leaves as soon as Hudson goes to school, so uh, yeah, so that's the change up for today. I already got Dominic to school, and we have Willow again uh, for an unknown amount of time, probably at least a week, maybe longer. So, two dogs, again. Are you happy, Astrid? Huh? You happy you got a friend here? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's smart. Are you happy? You are okay. Hoping that the van cam works today. No guarantees. It is over here all charged up and ready to go. And so we should be should be good. I gotta stop and get gas and a donut. <laughs> and then get our butts downtown, then get our butts back and uh, get her to school as soon as possible because this is her full day of school, not her half day of school. So she's ending up going to a half day, which should be a full day. Are you ready? Let's go get this Botox. Get your hands relaxing, get your biceps relaxing. You punch me in the face every time I pick you up. Hey, with Dan in the van cam. Well, I was wrong about the van cam. It's uh, messed up again. <laughs> I need to just upgrade the whole camera setup that I have. But I think I have it going now. I got in, cleared the SD card and everything. So, I, okay, so now we're on the road. Just got done getting gas and that donut. Just got a phone call from Children's Mercy. They call you like a day before and then they make you go through this whole process of are you the father please spell your name what's your birth date what's your kid's birth date it never used to happen but it's probably an eight to ten minute process on the phone to go over all of the information that they should already have in their system but they make me answer it every time and we have like three or four appointments there a month and I have to go through it every single time so this time the lady said, how are you doing? I said, well, I'm on my way to Children's Mercy. And she said, oh good, I'm calling you for the pre-register for today's appointment. We forgot to call you yesterday. And so this is the long interview that I have to do every appointment that we go to. I was like, we're on our way there. She's like, oh, um, um, oh okay, well, I, we'll see you when you get here. Yes, you will. <laughs> we got valet. Mm -hmm. We love that there's a valet, don't we? We can get right out. Mm -hmm. yes, no having to find parking or anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at so, that just wow. uh, sitting in the waiting room, and Hudson just got a book. Oh, you got a book. Yeah, this nice lady over here gave you a book, didn't she? Isn't that awesome? We're going to read it. Mm -hmm. We're not going to read it right today, though, because we've got school right after this. Oh, so, oh well, good. School, you, yeah. School's fun. And you got to get there because you're going to camp, right? Yeah. Oh camp learn a lot. Mm -hmm. Did you know you were going to camp this week? You didn't know that, did you? This week they have camp. Oh, uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. I know you're excited. You're super duper excited. So, you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> we, got a, we got a diaper change happened. We took care of it, didn't we? We took care of it, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Let me have it. Let me have the thumb. There we go. Uh, goopy goops. There we go. Alright. You got gloves on, kid. Yeah. You gotta show mom what you look like. Wearing gloves. <laughs> is that funny? <laughs> this is funny, isn't it? getting dressed get, getting our getting our clothes back on well not the pants the pants are oops, the pants are new we had to do a diaper change while we were here this was a this was a little rougher of a visit that was pretty tough wasn't it kid she had the same shots that she's gotten before and she did really well she got a one on the inside of her thigh on each side, and then um, one in the bicep and 
two in the forearm and then three across the hand and not uh you can see she's a little the handle's really bad and it's not so much the shot as it was just that they're stretching her fingers out but you did good we got you calmed down we got you on daddy's lap and we did some bounces mm -hmm. we did some bouncing the snuggles mm -hmm. and then we were back to then we we're back to good right kid it's about 10 45 we're gonna head straight for the school and i've got to remember to drop off that thing for Dominic at his school get your feet locked in kid you know this special needs life is a process everything is a process there is that is definitely something that maybe i can be kind of negative about is let's head out the door let's Okay, time to leave. No, it's never just time to leave as a kid. We've got so much we gotta do before we can just walk out the door. <laughs> All right. Okay, I just put the mower away. These brown lines, I guess that brown is better than the grass being brown with no rain, but it's like raining every day for a little bit. And the yard is just a swamp. <laughs> but I mean, look at that. That is, those are, those are mud lines from the wheel of the mower, but it's done, I guess. I also spent a bunch of time going around and using the pooper scooper. I think some days my whole world is consumed with poo. We're home from school, Hudson taking her nap, Domic's hanging out down here watching Tesla videos on YouTube. He says, I wanna watch Tesla videos, but I can't watch those on my iPad. And I was like, yeah, it's YouTube kids, but go ahead, you can watch Tesla videos on YouTube on the TV. So I'm getting ready to head out to a Joanne's Fabrics and get some fabric to top this with. I hope I can get that done tonight. I'm excited, gonna get a nice purple, like a plum, like a dark, deep purple. And then I think I'm gonna cut a piece of wood to go right there for this to hang on so that when we're done with it, it just goes on the wall. It'll be a nice purple octagon against that wall over there. Mm -hmm. What do you think of that? All right, buddy, gotta be back, I love you. Where are you going? Joanne's Fabrics. <laughs> I think Casey's got a little bit left to work to do and then she's gonna be done. You got a little left, mom? Yeah. And then we're going to hopefully get at least one more episode of Game of Thrones in. Because I think we have one to go and then we're on season eight, which is the final season. And then like, if we can get that through that this week, we should hit, I think that finale is this week. Like we've been punching it and punching it out. All right, back of the house and took the top out. And that's just glued on. So I'm just gonna like peel it off. So got two. Look at that, look at that nice, pretty purple. It's gonna be perfect in there. Nice plum and uh, some spray adhesive. I think that looks really, really good. Better than I expected it to look. I am, well, I'm thawing out some sausage right there. Now that's gonna get fried in the pan and gonna get some fettuccine noodles going. So those are not gluten-free. Those will be for Dominic and I. And then I'm gonna put a batch of gluten-free ones in there for Casey. And then in the saucepan there in the back, right there, I'm gonna make from scratch some Alfredo sauce. So sausage and peas, Alfredo, fettuccine, going to be delicious. I don't know what that's called, but I I think we're gonna call it delicious. <laughs> gonna eat the, uh, the dogs are, oh, look at that, Willow finished her food. Apparently at her house, her food's just left out and so she munches on it all day. But she's gonna have to learn if she's here, she needs to finish all of her food because Astrid will finish it and then she doesn't get more. 
This is meal number two that you finished all of it in one sitting. Good job. <laughs> and Astrid tends to pull her bowl out away from the wall and search for any pieces that she dropped. <laughs> Casey went in the other room. She saw I was trying to vlog. Yeah, that pork sausage, cooking it up there. It's looking really good. I gotta drain the grease off of it. I got some leftover peas from last night right there, but I'm gonna cook a few more. By the way, made fried rice. It was delicious. By the way, if you have not had my fried rice recipe yet, you 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 gotta check it out. It's it's right there. It's so good and versatile. You can switch it up. Great meal when you're trying to think, what should we make tonight that we can have for lunch tomorrow? <laughs> so, okay, let me get this done. Already served Casey's up to her. So in here, mine. Mm, getting ready to throw that. I mean, it's essentially cheese gravy. <laughs> I'm gonna get a little sprinkle of some oregano. Out of the kitchen. You've already had your dinner. Yes. Yes. Have you ever played the game Strip Drip Splash? No. <laughs> it's done. The, the table part's done. I still need to cut the piece of wood that goes there, which I could probably do tomorrow afternoon, probably. The top's not as tight as I probably needed it to be. It gets a little, but I can always tighten it up again. But that is a card table. In fact, let's see. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> so that's gonna do it for today. We are going to, well, Casey's gonna watch the rest of her show, which has like five minutes left. What are you watching? The Bold Type. The Bold Type. It's a completely girly fashion 20 something. Somebody's knocking on the door. Oh, let's see who it is. Hey, Calvin. You coming over to play? Yes. Come on in. Dominic, you done eating? Yes, yeah. He's right over there waiting on you. I don't see Finish it. your food, dude. Finish your food, what? dude. Rude dude, piece of chewed food dude, eat your crude food dude. All right, that's gonna do it. I think we're gonna close out the vlog now, finally. I uh, hope I don't get blisters from when I picked up that hot handled. I, I had that handle sitting over the heat a little too long and when I went to pick it up, it, it burned. But we're good, daddy's fine. I don't think it's gonna blister. It's just gonna be a little sore right there for a couple days. I'm fine. Don't cry for me or anything. Is that funny? <laughs>
Don't cry for me, Argentina. <laughs> so remember, to the world, you may be one person, but to one person, you may be the world. Yes. Yeah. So go be somebody's world. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Remember, there's a Teespring store just below this. You can get coffee mugs and stuff. Like, go down there, check it out. At least take a look. At, I'm uh, thinking about adding some new items to it. And they're not all the same color. You can change them up. And the different colors are really cool on the stuff. And uh, we're working on a new shirt. And that's the only thing I can say about that. <laughs> all right. Bye, guys. Bye.